So my name is Mike Replinger. I'm in the Division of Emergency Medicine, and my project was looking at CT compared to MRI to diagnose appendicitis. So it's a pretty common uh, problem that we see in the emergency department. There are about a quarter million cases of appendicitis a year. CT is used a lot because we know that just based on our history and physical exam, we're wrong about 8 to 30 percent of the time. So better right than wrong if you're going to go to the operating room for this type of issue. What we did is we had patients enroll in our study to do both CT and MRI and com directly compare the two of them to see how well this new MRI protocol does to diagnose appendicitis. And we asked patients from the ER to do this. They get their CAT scan and then went directly to MRI. We enrolled 93 people over the course of a year and 60 of those were women, so about two-thirds were women. The mean age was about 33 years, which is right on with what would be expected. The, it's usually in the 20s to 30s as far as uh, the time of diagnosis. Um, and then we compared how well these two imaging types did compared to when they went to the operating room if there was appendicitis, or if they went home, we called or did a chart review to see did they have appendicitis that we missed. And what we found is that CT, which we use routinely, does very well, uh, almost 100%, between 98 to 100%. Our new MRI protocol was actually pretty similar on the order of 92 to 100 percent for both how well it, it rules out or rules in the disease. Uh, this was based on three different radiologists reading all of the images and then we compared their interpretations. This study is a little limited in the fact that it's only at our institution, so we have specialty trained people in abdominal imaging. However, we didn't actually train them specifically how to read MRI for appendicitis. So there's a lot of area yet to move forward on this, but our results seem to be pretty good as far as using this as a first-line imaging test. Why would you use MRI over CT? So the main reason is that our patient population that has appendicitis is very young, and there are two main risk factors associated with CT use. One is we have to give an IV contrast, which can cause kidney injuries. The second thing is that it does use a lot of X-ray radiation, and so we want to minimize the amount of radiation to decrease the possibility of developing cancer in the long term.